Hello everyone, it's Jack from Visual Effects. So I just wanted to update the chromatic aberration tutorial that was ever done on our YouTube channel. So let's jump in. So I'm just going to import this one little shot because we've got intense light and this is a really shiny like mirror floor. So we'd get quite a bit of aberration around the edge. It's not fully cleaned up because it's an old render back in the day. So let's just quickly add chromatic aberration, the new fast way. So just want to go to our effects, type in chromatic aberration, and then we'll use the plugin everything, quick chromatic aberration three. And I'll put a link in the description on where to get that. So if we just drag that onto our clip now, or our photo, it automatically adds it. So as you can see in these areas here, if I turn it off and on, on, off, on, off and for majority of scenes that's okay it's done but you can go in and refine these just by changing the, the colors so it might be the magenta and green or the green and blue this you tend to get on quite older lenses between 90s and early 2000s um, but these are the tend to be the newer colours that you tend to get on some lenses. So if we go for red and blue, which is more of that magenta colour, you can even then slightly adjust the hue as well and manually change it, which is amazing. And also you can spread it out a little bit further and use it actually as an RGB split plugin as well. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's that's quite a severe one. So if you was underwater or something or you wanted to fake underwater GoPro footage, you could really push that up. But majority of the time it will be between 0 0.25 and 0 0.5 maybe to get just this little subtle bit on any other highlighted areas. So hopefully you found this useful and I'll catch you on the next one.